Hey, how's it going guys? I am Dion from Tech Site Reviews and in this video, I'm gonna be explaining everything you need to know about web hosting. Now it may seem quite technical, complex, and even a little bit intimidating when you're creating your first website, but don't worry, I'm gonna simplify everything for you so by the end of this video, you will know exactly what web hosting is and what you should be looking out for when choosing a web hosting solution. So let's get started. So first things first, the basics. What exactly is web hosting? Well, simply put, web hosting is like providing a home for your website. If you own a website, you need a home for it on the internet to store all of your stuff and that's basically what web hosting is. Whether it's a blog, e-commerce platform or any other website, the code, images, videos and text that make up your website has to be stored somewhere and that is where web hosting comes in. So taking all that in, web hosting is essentially the computer and network infrastructure that keeps your blog or e-commerce platform or any other website available on the internet at all times. Up next, let's talk about the different types of hosting services because there are many different types of hosting you can actually choose from. These are shared hosting, reseller hosting, virtual private servers, cloud hosting, and dedicated server. And the most popular and affordable type of hosting is shared hosting. If this is your first website, I would highly suggest choosing this one. With most web hosting providers, this usually starts at only around two to three dollars per month and is best suited for beginners creating their first websites. So how does web hosting actually work? Well, it all starts with a server, which is essentially a powerful computer stored in a secure place called a data center. So when you buy hosting services, you are basically renting physical disk space on the server computer. And at the same time, you're also renting bandwidth, which is the network connection for the server. So what exactly am I saying? Well, web hosting services work by maintaining reliable and secure storage spaces. While web hosts provide more than just simple data storage, it is a primary part of their functionality. Hosts store data on hardware called web servers, allowing easy maintenance and access by their online users. Without a large enough host capacity and proper maintenance, websites will be very, very slow and could ultimately deprive your audience of information and therefore impact your business businesses sales. Speed is a huge factor when it comes to websites and making your audience want to stay because like who wants to stay on a slow website that takes forever to load each web page? Nobody. That's who. Now, how do you manage your website's hosting? So managing hosting manually can be very, very technical, but by choosing the right web hosting provider, all of these tech skills will not be required. That's because providers usually provide an interface, also known as a control panel, to help you manage key areas of your website hosting easily all in one place. A control panel allows for basic functions like setting up or removing email accounts, creating subdomains, file management, monitoring visit account, and a lot more. The cPanel from cPanel LLC is the most common control panel in web hosting platforms. And it's preferred by providers because it's reliable, intuitive, and quite easy to get the hang of. Now, before you commit to a web hosting provider, you might be worried about whether it's a permanent decision. Because what if you're not happy with the web host services and you want to switch? Well, don't worry about that either because choosing a web host is not permanent. That's because site migration is a thing. Website migration is basically just moving your website and all this data from one web hosting solution all the way to another. And you can either do this manually or get it done by the hosting service you want to move to. It's very, very simple. And the good thing is, is that some providers actually offer free site migration and will do all the heavy lifting for you. All you have to do is basically pick the hosting you want, request migration, providing important details like uh, your host name and control panel login and FTP login, and then your new hosting service handles the rest. You can switch over in literally a couple of minutes. Now, the main question you probably have in mind. So, which web hosting solution should you choose? Well, a good hosting platform should have four key features, okay? These are affordability, user-friendliness, scalability, and security. And based on these four features, I would highly recommend you check out Bluehost. Bluehost has very fair price packages starting at just $2.95 a month. 
It's an excellent solution for beginners and even has advanced plans for more comprehensive needs, which you could simply upgrade to in the future when you need them. So if you'd like to check out Bluehost for yourself, you can either watch my full in-depth review video or go straight to the Bluehost website to learn more. Both of these will be linked in the description down below. And this Bluehost link will be automatically updated with the best current discount. So be sure to use that if you decide to purchase a plan. But as for this video guys, that is going to be it. I hope you now have a better understanding of what web hosting is and you're a little less confused about it all. If you do have any questions, please drop a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more content just like this. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.